YouTube, it's Taylor again. Um, today I just wanted to go through some products real fast that I'm really liking. So let me know what y'all think. Tell me if y'all have any products that y'all absolutely love and that I should try. And just let me know with the comments. Okay. Uh, first I just wanted to say a quick thing about um, one of the products. I like a hair on my face. I guess. One of the products that I received from Glam Bag for March. And it was that 3Lab Perfect Cleansing Foam. And I had told you that I was kind of having problems with it with using my Clarisonic brush on it. But I just want to say, um, with using my fingers, I'm actually starting to love this cleanser. It, I feel like, um, well, first off, I use a lot of cleanser. I, like, squirt so much. But I feel like it just, you know, some cleansers, you kind of have to keep squirting more and more. I don't feel like it is with this. And it's so creamy, and it covers your entire face. I feel like it just gives it a really nice cleaning. And it takes quite a bit of water for me to splash to wash it off. But I feel like it's just working, and it's pretty smooth for the most part. It has a few little gritty kind of textures in there. I don't know if those are like buffering beads or what they are. But overall, I really like this cleanser, and I was just going to test it out one day and just kind of tell you how it went. But I ended up liking it so much that so I've been using it every night. And I really feel like it's helped with my face. Like, my skin, I feel like, has got pretty clear. Um, I had one kind of, like, pimple right there. But I feel like it's gotten a lot better. Um... Just with this cleanser, like, I'm telling y'all, I'm kind of becoming a fan. I might end up buying some of this cleanser. So, anyways, it was the 3 Lab Cleanser, the Perfect Creamy, or Cleansing Foam, and it was from our, uh, Glam Bag for March. Anyways, so let's go ahead and start with some of the products I'm really liking right now. And today, I guess, it's just going to be kind of like a cheek and lip day, because somehow, with all my favorite products, all I picked out was lip stuff and blushes and, like, cheek stuff, so I don't know how that happened. But, um, let's just go through them. My hair is being crazy. Ah, okay, let's just go through them and let me know what y'all think, okay? And by the way, on my lips right now, I have, um, this MAC lip, um, Sheer, or Sheen Supreme, and it's in Blossom Culture. That's what it looks like. It's on my finger right there. It's really pretty. It's actually, let me get some paper towel. It's actually, a uh, almost fairly nude and it just gives my lips a nice sheen to it and I really really enjoy it so uh, it goes on really smoothly uh, I'm not gonna lie it kind of dries out my lips a little bit uh, today I had a job interview and I'd put it on and then in the middle of the interview I felt like I kind of had like that dry lip stuff my lips were getting really dry which I'm sure like my mouth was dry anyways because I was nervous but like I started building up around the corners of my mouth I was like no I don't want the white stuff around my mouth that sounds so dirty, but y'all know what I mean with the lip products. But anyways, overall, it's a good product. I enjoy it. And so that, once again, is from the Sheen Supreme Matte Collection with the color being Blossom Culture. And once again, just so you can get one more look, it looks like that. It almost kind of looks a little bit orangey, but it's actually a fairly nude color once you put it on. So uh, let's just keep it going with MAC because surprisingly, all my lip products right now are from MAC. So, um, well, a about two weeks ago, I went into the Mac store to buy the Nicki Minaj lipstick that everybody's talking about. And then that's when I picked up the lipstick I'm wearing right now and then three other ones. I went on a little Mac shopping spree. I don't know why I'm going crazy with lipstick. Like nail polish and lipstick, I've been buying so many of lately and I need to slow down big time because I'm going broke. But anyways, this is the Nicki Minaj one that I went in to buy. It looks like that. It's really pink, y'all. It's really pretty pink. Anyways, um... I'll put it on, show you it. I'm kind of a little afraid because it's so pink. Okay, it's coming on like nude, y'all, but this is bright ass pink. I don't know why it's coming on so nude right now, but it's so pink. Anyways, um... I said a bad word too, sorry. Excuse my French. <laughs> but it's really fun, and I'm sorry that my lighting is so bad that it's not showing how freaking pink this is. It looks like that. And it's really pretty, actually. And I feel like, um, and I was talking about this with the Mac Girl, you could do so many different things to that color to change the way the color looks. Uh, we were talking about putting an orange liner with it, which I would never in my million years put an orange lip liner on. But it actually gave the color such a pop, and it didn't look orange in any way. Um, we were talking about just putting a pink liner with it. 
putting glosses with it, toning it down, playing it up, whatever. I feel like this is so versatile. And it's a really pretty color. It's the limited edition right now. So y'all should definitely go pick you up some. And it's from the Nicki Minaj Viva Glam collection at MAC, okay? So go get y'all some. It's really fun. Okay, lastly from lip products, of course, I heard everybody talk about these. So I had to pick some up. Everybody went on and on. And it's the Tinder Tones from MAC. And evidently, they, it's like this is like a special product. Like, they don't have them all the time. Correct me if I'm wrong. But evidently, they just come in like once a year, and I don't know if they didn't have them for the last few years or what was going on. But anyways, when I went to the one, um, to the Mac and Dillard's, it was actually sold out. So thankfully, the mall I went to has an actual Mac store. They said, try upstairs at the store. So I went up there, and they only had like three colors left and very few. So they were selling out really fast. So I'm glad, I feel like the Nicki Minaj is getting a little pinker now. But anyways, um, so I'm glad I picked these up. And I picked these up in two colors that two years ago I would have never bought. I feel like lately, um, just like the last year and a half, I've really opened up my thinking and views on makeup, and I'm starting to try to play with more color. So, anyways, let's get into it. I got the Tinder Tones, and this one's in Hot and Saucy, and this is a lip balm. It's like a lip balm. It's not a lipstick. It's in a pot. I put it on with my finger. I don't use a brush or anything like that, and it has SPF 15 in it, and they smell good, actually. They smell like fruity. Like, it kind of makes me think of, like, lip smackers when you're little, and you, like, love those chapsticks. Anyway, so this is the first color. So freaking pretty. And I'll put this on for you. I'll show y'all today. Okay, so that's the first color. And like I said, it is in Hot and Saucy. And I love it because it has the texture of a balm. But look at this color you're getting. Like, the pigment's great. And so that's what makes me so happy is because it's supposed to be a balm, but it has, like, lip color with a gloss in it. So that's the first one, Hot and Saucy. And these are the Tinder Tones. And I highly suggest if you're not a big lipstick girl, or even if you are, go pick up some of the Tinder Tones. They're great, okay? So the second one I got is the Tread Gently. And I heard great reviews about this, so it made me buy it because I would never have picked out this color on my own. I mean, it looks white here, but it's almost like a green-yellow color, okay? And it has sparkles in it. And it smells the same almost to me as Han Saucy. Just fruity. It just makes me think. Uh, it makes me think so much of Lip Smackers. Okay. And this is just a really nice sheen. Just like this. It's really pretty, y'all. And I just really, like I said, enjoy these. And I feel like I'm going to go through these so fast. So I might go pick up extras since it's, like I said, I'm assuming, I'm under the impression, it's only a once a, once a year thing. And uh, they're in these little pots. And I just feel like they're going to go so fast. So anyways, once again, that was Tread Gently and Hot and Saucy in their Tinder Tones. So that's what they look like. Okay. So we're done with lip products. Let's go ahead and get into the face. And I'm digging three things for the face right now. One of them, I'm going to have to warn you, you got to be easy with it. And we'll just talk about that one first. And it is the Mary Lou Manizer, the, a.k.a. the Luminizer from the Balm. It looks like this. Um, I think I bought this through, like, I had a gift certificate online. And the Balm was one of the makeup um, lines they carried and so I looked up many reviews on the balm and everybody went on and on about it so I need some highlighter because I told y'all about y'all look at my one of my other videos about products I love and hate at the moment uh, I had that elf shimmer or no it was an elf I don't even remember who it was it was a really cheap product and it was shimmer and it looked like ridiculous so I decided to pick up this highlighter it's really pretty but I'm letting y'all know, I mean, one one little swipe, that's all you need. Like, I was just sitting there with my brush, dabbing it in, and I looked like I was freaking glowing. You need one swipe, that's it, guys. And it comes along a little chalky, I'm not going to lie. So you need to put it in really well, but it's really pretty. Once you rub it in, it gives you just a nice sheen. And I just like putting it on my cheekbones. And sometimes I put like a little bit right down my nose. But um, it's really pretty actually once you rub it in. It gives you just that nice little glow on your bones. But y'all, just one little swipe. But I really like it. I feel like it's going to last me a long time. 
And that, once again, was the Mary Lou Manizer, the Luminizer from the Balm. And it looks like this. And I want to say it's in, like, the 20 to $25 range or something like that. But, like I said, I feel like it's going to last me for a while. So, anyways, uh, the next product I have is a little bit pricey, too, and it's the Laura Geller Makeup Collection. And this is the Blush and Brighten in Golden Apricot. Looks like that. And a lot of my friends use this, and I've never really first off wanted to spend the money <laughs> on Laura Geller and because this is around probably I think $30 and I I don't know like I just never had gotten into her products but I really liked the color combination I liked how it was this kind of like baked look you know how it had all these different colors so I got it it's very pigmented I, it's just like the balm I do one swipe and done so that's what it looks like but it's such a pretty color. It almost has a slight bit of a bronzer, but in no way would I put this all over my face. Only cheekbones, because it has that shimmer in it, and I would not want to be glowing all over the place. So anyways, um, I really like it. There's it once again. It's really pretty. I think I'm going to check into some of our other blush colors. And that color was the Golden Apricot Blush and Brighten from Laura Geller. Um, with one of my certificates I recently got from my glam bag, I ordered some other kind of luminizer thing from her. So I'll do a review on it and let you know how it goes. But so far, I'm digging the blush. And then finally, more of a drugstore product, more on my budget. I got the Physicians Formula, and it's the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. And it's like, that's so cute. Like, it was around Valentine's Day when I bought it, too. Ignore one of my hearts because it got broken. But it was around Valentine's Day when I ordered it. And I was like, oh, well, I didn't order it. I went in and bought it at CVS. But I'm, I don't know why I'm saying or ordered. But it's just so pretty. It's just a really nice little pink sheen to it. It's really pretty on. Um, it's 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 just a nice little pink glow, and I really enjoy it as a color. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of a good scent to it. I could be imagining this, y'all, because I just did wash my hands. <laughs> Maybe I'm smelling my hands, but I really enjoy it. It's about anywhere from probably like twelve, fourteen dollars. But it's a good one, you know, you have your mirror that comes with it, and then the little brush, which I never use those. But um, I really like this, so let me know what y'all think about it. Anyway, so those are the products right now. Um, hopefully I'll do another video soon, and y'all just let me know how y'all feel about your products, how you feel about the products I showed, and tell me anything I need to check out. I'll see y'all later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.